God damn. Well, it's gonna blow on these motherfucking Mega Drive cartridges. Right. So, yes, um, if I turn this down a bit. Uh, where is the fucking TV remote? This is all a bit, uh, last minute and shit. Well, it's not last minute, but, um, yeah, basically, today I lost my job. So, uh, what do you do when you lose your job? Play some motherfucking Sega Mega Drive. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, yes, yeah, before I go back to the uh, original cartridge that I first got when I got my Sega Mega Drive Christmas back in the day. And, uh, yes, I'm in the mood for some funky fucking music. So, first we're going to have some Revenge of Shinobi in my quest to cheer myself up. So, we're going to turn the sound up a bit now. I love this shit. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah. So yes, uh, lost my job today. So um, no money's for pickups. So I got to work out what I'm gonna do. But it's Friday night tonight. So um, just. Uh, Relaxing, beers, a bit of Mega Drive, all that sort of thing. There we go, do the little uh, unlimited shurikens cheat and then we jump in to a bit of one of the best games ever. Awesome. And um, now we hear some motherfucking funky music. That's what I'm talking about. Music to fucking get down to. Alright. So a bit of this. Yeah. Oh look, love this game, it's fucking awesome. You always gotta play it with the unlimited shurikens though, just so you can go fucking balls out and eliminate everyone. Gotta get the power-ups. Do the fucking ah motherfucker. Gotta lose the power-ups when you fail to pull off your double jump. Timing right on that. Little fucking samurai ass bitch. Yeah, so you just need a little bit of uh, a bit of Sega in your life to cheer you up sometimes and never fails to disappoint. Just a winning combination, combination, funky music and fucking ninjas. Ah, oh, motherfucker. How are you supposed to get that fucking thing up there? I bet you have to use the, uh... Oh, you bastard! Fucking... Must be dust in the slot of this Mega Drive. It appears that just nothing is going right for me in life at this very minute. Can't even play some Sega. We'll try that again then, shall we? Ah, oh, god damn. What do you do? And now we get the... Uh, we could put it on easy now actually. I don't know whether I put it on easy the first time, I don't think I did. Got the mundane task of enabling the unlimited shurikens cheat. Which is putting it on zero and waiting it waiting until it shrivels up into infinite size. Right, so now we start again. Hopefully we can get further than that before the motherfucking shit crashes. I wonder if this is one of those um, games that runs faster in a, an NTSC console. This is uh, the PAL version of the game running on a PAL console. Um, but I know, for example, Sonic um, 
literally runs at 50 hertz. The first Sonic game, the original. Um, apparently they fixed it for Sonic 2, and I assume all the other sort of later games in the series. So I don't know whether that was just uniform throughout early Sega releases. Obviously, what that means, um, as well as the games running slower, is that the music is also uh, slower. And if you want to make a comparison and find out, um, I do have the Revenge of Shinobi tune featured in my channel intro, so check that out and compare. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that. Uh, that's the NTSC version in that video just uh, breaking up my sentence there with a sip of beer because that's the other way that you cheer yourself up beer and Sega with ninjas and dogs being murdered I like murdering dogs I was actually in um, Asda supermarket if you're not aware of what Asda is or like if you're American it's basically Walmart, Walmart own Asda in this country um, and yeah there was, there was a guy and he wanted people to donate and he had like fucking um, like leaflets and shit and it was like don't put down a healthy cat and I just thought no, you're supposed to put him in a bag and burn him. No, not really. You're not, you're not supposed to put him in a bag and burn him. But I don't like cats. Shit everywhere and it fucking stinks. And the amount of people that you see who have like gaming channels and do videos and they've got a cat and it's just like fucking crawling across the top of the fucking TV and you know you wouldn't let your kids do it. So I let a fucking irritating little fucking rodent do it. You know what I mean? Well, that's just my opinion. I bet there's a lot of uh, pussies out there, I mean, uh, cat lovers. Yeah, I'm cheering myself up just abusing random categories of people. Grabbing the health, doing in the samurais, spit it up, throw my shurikens up, down, left, right. A start, that's the Sonic fucking level select, but uh, yeah, you can press that if you want and it'll just pause it. So here we've got the boss, so easy with the uh, unlimited shuriken, you just keep doing the double jump, spin a jig, I don't know what the correct fucking name is for it. Yeah, it's one of my um, favourite games ever. Um, you know, I know most of the levels inside out. I don't really know the, the labyrinth stage at the end. I don't know that inside out. Um, well, pretty much every other stage uh, I'm fine with. But I've never actually completed the, uh, the game fully, even with unlimited uh, shurikens, unfortunately. I've got a few through to the, uh, the the final level, but you just get lost in it. I love the music on this stage as well. So many memorable tunes to get down to. The old uh, jump, jump, jumps. I remember this bit was pretty uh, hard. Um, you know, I've basically, very first uh, turn my Mega Drive on. I remember my get up there now. There we go. Ah, crafty bastards putting bombs on ledges. Oh no, bastard. Cheap death, cheap, cheap death. So yeah, instantly makes you feel a hell of a lot better knowing that now you've got no job, you can just sit at home all day and play fucking Revenge of Shinobi. Maybe even complete it. Who knows, my gaming skills might have uh, 
got better since I was about since that brain is dead from shit job and losing shit job all day. Ah yes. Don't talk, just splash no me. Yeah, um, took me a while to be able to sort of navigate this uh, level as a kid. A lot better at it now, like. It was these logs here that gave me the, uh, the main problems. Bit of fucking precision jump in there. And you see, I do it first time nowadays because I'm freaking epic. Now we've got some fucking disco shinobi music. Oh. You can just pretty much um, like go through this level and not actually kill any bad guys, I think. Um, ah, fucking bastard. But there is um, power ups and shit like that to be had. Obviously, uh, when you're playing with unlimited shuriken, you're not really too bothered about picking up the uh, shuriken power-ups. Kind of annoying hybrid dudes that are like a cross between AC Slater off Saved by the Bell and fucking Bruce Lee. Just weird looking motherfuckers. A bit of life. The gap, a little bit more life, a bit more shuriken action. <sighs> Here we go, on to the, uh, the boss already. Kind of an annoying boss if you're on a serious playthrough because you can lose um, quite a few lives on this guy. He's not sort of like a really rinse and repeat kind of boss, in my opinion. Um, he does just basically seem to attack you rather than just being in a, a set sort of pattern. Um, obviously not impossible. It does help if you use the uh, jobby job, beef burger. And uh, now we can just fucking whoop his ass. Should change colour though, um, not changing colour very uh, often to be honest during this fight. But yes, this guy's pissing me off now, so um, I'm gonna, when I die, which is there, I'm gonna end the video and I'm gonna do another video on the same cartridge, because that's how I roll. And I'm still trying to cheer myself up with some nice, tasty Sega. Alright.